Hi, this is Scott, and today I'm going to show you the second version of my Bluetooth Nikon camera control. The controller is built around an Arduino Uno, which is accompanied by a Blue Smurf Bluetooth transceiver that I got from SparkFun. Putting all this together, it allows some control of my Nikon camera from my Android phone. The Arduino is wired up to a bit of electronics that I mashed together, mainly a relay which acts as a switch for the Nikon shutter release port. I believe that all the DSLRs have a port that works the same way, at least electronically, so this could probably be made to work with any brand of them, as long as you know the pinout for your specific brand. So here's the controller all packaged up. Uh, this little box I got from Fry's or Radio Shack or somewhere, and everything went in there fairly neatly. Uh, it's got a power switch and a shutter button here so that you can manually fire the shutter. There's the shutter activation LED there to show that it's uh, received the signal. Uh, in terms of connecting it to the camera, I went with a standard 3.5mm uh, audio jack, like a headphone jack, because um, there's tons of hardware for it and they're nice and easy to work with. So that's easy now as long as you don't need too many channels of data. Um, the only thing that's external is the battery. It's just a 9 volt battery right now. And uh, that's kind of handy because you uh, can go through batteries in a decent fashion, and right now it's uh, just velcroed onto the bottom so you can pop it on and off pretty easily and change it out, but it still stays secured to your, to your box. So here's the control box, zip tied to one of the legs of my tripod, as I might keep it if I were going out in the field. And to connect everything up, all I need to do is plug in the phono plug to the control box, and the Nikon shutter release uh, plug to the shutter release slash GPS port on your camera and it's connected. Now we can power it on by flipping the switch, you get an LED to confirm. And the most simple operation is just to fire the shutter by pressing the shutter button right here. You can see that it pulls focus on the camera and fires the shutter. So the final part of this project, of course, was to get it working from my Android phone over Bluetooth. It's going to be a little hard to see because I have a crummy camera filming this, but if we launch a Bluetooth terminal app and connect to the Bluetooth board that's inside the, uh, the box over there, then we can send it the command to fire the shutter, which in this case is just an ID of 1 and a data bit of 1, and it fires the shutter. Every time we send it that bit, it will fire the shutter. Some of the other things that you can do once you have Bluetooth control are the intervalometer. Um, now you can set the interval, let's just call it a 1 second interval, so we'll send it 1 second interval that confirms is received, and then we'll tell it to take five shots, send that, confirms is received, then we'll tell it to do an interval shoot program, one, two, three, four, five. And I know it's very hard to see on the screen here, but it's reading back every time that it fires the shutter and keeping count, so if you want to walk away from your uh, time lapse setup with your phone and then reconnect to it and see how far along it is, it'll show that information here on the screen. Well, thanks for checking out my project. I've definitely had a lot of fun with it, and it's been a great learning experience for me on the uh, Arduino platform. Um, there's definitely uh, a lot more to do and some great ideas that I've got of ways to make this even better, so stay tuned, and there will be some updates coming. Thanks for checking it out. Bye.